Now, the former Federal Treasurer Peter Costello will hand down a report into the state of Queensland's finances this morning. And it already paints a far grimmer picture than was previously thought. Queensland's state political reporter Chris O'Brien joins us now from Brisbane. Good morning, Chris. What do we know so far? Uh, good morning, Karina. We've already been softened up for some pretty bad news. The Premier Campbell Newman and the Treasurer Tim Nichols over the past few days have been using very drastic language. Uh, the Premier saying things like, we're on a power dive into an abyss. We're at a light plane plunging into a canyon. So when premiers use language like that, you can bet your bottom dollar that they're softening us up for something pretty drastic. What they're going to be telling us today, courtesy of Peter Costello, is that we will be going for much bigger debt and deficit than previously expected. It was already pretty big. Uh, the budget papers were tipping uh, a deficit of uh, $4.5 billion in a year or so and a, a big uh, surplus, uh, rather uh, borrowing, of $85 billion. What we're going to find out today is that it's more like going to be $92 billion of borrowings and a deficit twice as big as what was expected. So how selective a focus has this report had? Well, that's a very good question. When I say that this report is going to be predicting uh, a deficit twice as big as currently predicted, um, it does really depend on how you interpret things. You know the old saying, lies, damn lies and statistics. It seems as though today's report might be folding capital works into the deficit figure. Now, you can uh, get uh, three economists in a room and they'll give you three different ways of interpreting budget figures. Some say you should look at the operating deficit or surplus. Some say you should look at the underlying cash surplus or deficit. So it really goes to how you want to interpret things. I've already spoken to uh, some figures in the previous Labor government, Karina, and they say that the Auditor General has always signed off on the accounting practices used. So any questions, if they are raised today uh, about the way the deficit was calculated, uh, would be a reflection on the Auditor General. So we might be in for a little bit of he said, she said as far as interpreting today's figures go. Queensland's budget's not due for a few more months. What does this mean for public service jobs? Well, the budget is normally down around about now, but because we've had a change of government just recently, uh, the budget has been postponed until September. But as the new financial year rolls around in just a couple of weeks, there certainly are big question marks over the public service. Temporary contracts, we already know they won't be renewed, and that's a lot of people in the public service. Now, permanent jobs are also under question. The Premier and the Treasurer here in Brisbane have been saying they're doing all they can to keep permanent jobs, but uh, no guarantees. So you can imagine, Karina, that the public sector unions are pretty nervous about that. They've had a pretty good relationship so far with the LNP government, but they're going to be looking a little bit, little bit askance if uh, permanent jobs uh, start to come under threat as well. Chris O'Brien, a busy day ahead for you. We'll leave it there.